Hi everyone, welcome to class. Today we'll be talking about Texas stories. In this week's lesson, we'll be learning about American Western art, in particular painting, and we'll be creating a watercolor painting based on a Western theme. The supplies you'll need this week include paper. If you have watercolor paper, that's great, but normal printer paper will work. A pencil and a watercolor paint set. Begin this project by watching the American West art video. I'll include the link above. Simply click on the link and watch the video from the Museum of Western Art in Spring, Texas. Now that you've watched the documentary, we can start this project. First, let's explore some watercolor techniques. Perhaps you've never painted with watercolor before. Then we'll sketch out our Western landscape. We'll paint in our background with a warm color palette. I'll talk to you about what that means. And in step five, we'll paint our foreground with a cool color palette. Step two. In this step, we'll explore watercolors. I want you to divide your page into six squares. Uh, in the first square, we're gonna work with a dry brush technique. Dry brush means that we're going to take a small amount of water, wet our palette paint, and take that to the dry paper. In our second area, we're going to wet the paint heavily. Then we'll take that to the dry piece of paper. You'll notice that the color stands out more strongly because we now have more on the brush. And then in the third section, we're gonna wet our paper and then put wet paint into that wet paper. What you're gonna notice is that the color shows up differently in each of these examples. Dry brush on the left, wet brush in the middle, and wet into wet on the right. Now let's experiment with gradients in the bottom sections. I paint blue on the top, green on the bottom, and use water to blend the colors in the middle. In my second example, I'm going to start with blue and continue to add water as I paint down the page, making it blue to white gradient. And then in my third and final example, I start with blue on the top, put green underneath, and try to blend those all together to make a new color, blue-green. What's nice about watercolor is you can add more water to get colors to blend together. I'm labeling under each of my examples. The idea is that we've learned six new techniques and we can take those techniques into our picture that we're about to create. Step three. In step three, we're going to lay out our picture. We've chosen a Western theme. I'm using the idea of the cactus desert as my theme. First, I draw my cactuses on a curved horizon line at the bottom of the page. And then I add circles, concentric circles, radiating out from the middle to act as the sun or light source. I'm also going to use those to incorporate texture into my ground or foreground. Step four. In step four, we're going to paint our background in with a warm color palette. Warm colors just mean those colors that we associate with heat. That could be the reds, oranges, yellows in the color wheel. My watercolor palette has quite a lot of colors. Yours may not, and that's okay. Stick with those warm colors such as yellow, red, and orange. Work from the red and the far areas and allow it to get more and more yellow as it grows toward the light source or the sun as I'm painting here. Step five. Now let's paint in the foreground or literally the ground of our picture. The hillside that we've already laid out. I'm starting with the colors green, then moving to blues and purples. These are all cool colors on the cool side of the color spectrum. Here's our finished product. Yours will look different from mine and that's okay, but try to stick with that warm and cool color palette and let's compare these when we get in class next week. I hope you enjoyed today's project and hopefully it gave you a new tool that you can add to your artist toolkit. Today's class was sponsored by ArtSpark Texas and you can find information about their nonprofit in the link below. Thanks. Don't forget, 
you can like, share, and subscribe to our channel. The link to donate can be found in the description below. Thank you to our ArtSpark funders, Texas Commission on the Arts, National Endowment for the Arts Creative Forces, St. David's Foundation, Austin Public Library, Cultural Arts City of Austin, and the Donald D. Hamill Foundation.